The era of spatial computing has begun. Good morning! 256 gigs, Tim, are you serious? <laughs> Just to sweeten the deal, I'm gonna throw in the apple polishing cloth. Tim, I know, I know, don't thank me yet. You're gonna love it. Good morning! All right, it's our first official Apple product real announcement of the year, and we've got some updates across the board. Even though Vision Pro didn't get a keynote update of any kind, which I think it kind of deserved one, there was quite a few nuggets of new information with this site refresh and the whole press release. First of all, February 2nd, Groundhog Day, is when it starts delivering to customers both in stores and also they ship it to you. So that seems to be one aspect of the leaks and rumors that ended up not being true you don't have to get a specialized appointment just to buy one of these which is good also pre-orders begin on january 19th so not this friday but the following friday at 5 a.m pacific that's way too early for me tim stop making me get up so early for these things might have to just fly to the east coast so i can sleep in but they told us that it is starting at 3500 dollars for 256 gigs which is not terribly encouraging to me first of all like we know that the difference in price between the two 256 gig NAND and the one terabyte NAND is very, very small, okay? And we know the only reason that there's such a big price gap between the different storage configurations is to spread out the margins. So you have a really thin margin on the entry level model and a really thick margin on the high end model so they can reach a good average margin in the middle. But Apple Vision Pro, it's like, it's already $3,500, okay? So the percentage of the cost of goods for the device going towards the storage is very, very small. So to me, it should have gotten way more than 256 gigs. I'd be willing to settle with 256 if this was like a $1,000 or $1,500 product, but for 3,500, oh my god, Apple, this is already not going to be a very high volume product. You might as well just go all out with it, right? So yeah, they did not go quite ham with the storage, which is also making me think they very likely are using eight gigs of unified memory as well. I don't think they would be stuffing 16 gigs of RAM alongside 256 gigs of storage. That's typically just not how Apple works, but my running theory has been that for the computational and spatial computing aspect of Apple Vision Pro to work, they needed something more powerful than the A series of chip that we find in our iPhone, but it doesn't need to be necessarily maxed out with the M series of chip they put in there. That's probably why this thing still has an M2 chip, despite the fact that the M3 chip is out. That M2 in Apple Vision Pro is very likely not being fully unlocked. Battery life is a bigger concern than raw performance with this device so it's probably a bin you know underclocked m2 chip and it's not being fully maxed out to its maximum capability it's just that the a17 pro chip wasn't quite enough for it but instead of sweetening the deal by including better storage or something like that they're throwing in the apple polishing cloth which is a whopping value. It's actually a $3,500 cloth that comes with a free headset. But the other decent surprise that I will give some credit towards, the storage was a bit of a disappointment, but we knew Apple was talking about these optional lenses. There were both these optical readers and prescription lenses you could add to Apple Vision Pro in case your eyesight ain't the best and you still want to use this thing. And the opticals are only $100 and the prescription lenses are only $150. Sure, by no means are they cheap, or anything, but I don't know, considering this was Apple and we've seen how expensive they got with Apple Watch bands and accessories in the past, only 150 bucks for the prescription lenses was actually far lower than what I was anticipating. I saw a lot of people out there predicting they were going to be easily $300, maybe $400, just because this is such a rare, unique product and those are going to be rare, unique accessories that just magnetically snap in there. So 150 bucks, just so they work with your prescription that's that's pretty good honestly also we got a new image of the overhead band so that it doesn't feel too heavy and too cumbersome on your head after hours and hours of use and apparently this band is included with the headset you don't have to spend extra money to get that additional head strap that goes over the top of your head so thanks tim for that little goodie and also apple in the newsroom post was bragging a little bit about there being over 1 million apps available for the vision os app store at launch i I highly doubt 1 million plus have been like specifically optimized for Vision Pro. I think that's mainly just like there's a bunch of iPad and iPhone apps that are cross compatible. And yes, there are probably
probably some new official Vision OS apps as well, but they were bragging about that. Along with about 150 titles for movies and shows that support 3D viewing, so that should be a more immersive experience. And we also got a little bit of a boost in battery life, but only in a very specific use case. It's if you're watching movies that are 2D. So in that specific use case, it's actually a two and a half hour long battery with the battery pack. And for everything else, it goes up to two hours. And that's for all your spatial experiences. But of course, it still lasts all day when plugged in. So nothing on the website is indicating there's any kind of specialized or custom return treatment. So that's why I'm personally planning on picking one up and I'll probably do a pre-order stream bright and early on the morning of January 19th. We'll see how quickly these things sell out it'll be interesting to see what the demand is on it and i'm also very curious of the packaging and like the accessories how easy is this thing going to be to transport how light is it going to feel in person but i should remind you all of course the youtubers the big channels are gonna get it way before i do so i'll be watching mkbhd and your average consumer and i justine and everybody who gets their early release model and gauging their impressions and thoughts on it as soon as those are available which will probably be around late january where everybody on Tim Cook's nice list gets their Vision Pro a little bit earlier. But I'll have to wait like the rest of us because Apple don't like me too much and that's okay. But overall, I'm glad Apple is sticking with the timeline of Vision Pro. They are clearly sticking to their word with early 2024 release. And it's interesting that still, even though this product is in production and shipping within a matter of weeks, we haven't seen a single Apple executive actually wearing it and using it. They only let like a handful of people for marketing images actually wear it and I still think that eyesight display is gonna end up being very gimmicky and stupid looking but they're standing by it my predictions were wrong that they would end up delaying it further or maybe they would swap it for the m3 chip in the future so I was wrong in case you enjoy hearing me say that but are there any other surprises you guys got from this announcement things you're looking forward to things you're not looking forward to feel free to let me know down in the comments below and thank you to everybody supporting this channel directly seriously helps us out a ton as does just watching these videos so thanks again this is your app sleep here and i will see you all in the next one